Hello, and welcome to NBC News. I'm Noah from Britain. And I'm Brandon from the U.S. We have three new exciting stories for you today, so let's get to it, shall we? A shocking event occurred today involving a pizza delivery man. As it turns out, he accidentally helped out local law enforcement solve a five-year-old case. The house he was delivering to was the house of Pikeman Jake, a well-known local in the town of Springwater. However, as it turns out, it was in this house that held five missing women who had been considered dead. The delivery man, who has decided to remain anonymous at this point, made the discovery when he went to drop off the pizza. He said, as I went up to the door and knocked, no one answered. As I was waiting there, I thought I heard crying and decided to peek in through the window to see if anyone was actually home. What I saw horrified me. He apparently saw one of the women being beaten by pikemen with a wooden paddle as she was chained to a pole in the corner of the room. I didn't waste any time calling the cops, said the delivery man. And that, with that, the five women were saved. Pikeman was charged and is due for court session soon. As for the delivery man, he's still delivering delicious pizzas and has apparently gotten a very nice raise. A new sensation is sweeping the nation. Apparently choosing an animal that you would want to be can actually relate to an awkward moment you had or will have. This new craze is being called the awkward animal relation. How it works is that you choose an animal that you would want to be and based on what you choose, you'll make a connection to an awkward moment you had in the past. And amazingly, it usually works. Such as if you were to choose a sloth, you might remember that one time where you were being slow during a busy day at work. Now to Sean with more on this story. Thanks guys. My name's Sean and I'm here at Spring Ford asking people random questions. Our first random question is, if you had an awkward moment in your life, what was it? Just describe it for us. Um, my most awkward and embarrassing story would be when I fell down the stairs on the first day in high school. Uh, my first date, I was eating steak at Texas Third House and I choked on it. Probably my most awkward experience was when I was 10, there was a live clip of me dancing on TV on the news. It was pretty awkward. Being asked to be in this video. I was running for a touchdown. <laughs> I, just, I don't really want to say, but uh, I was running and I was, the guy was trying to tackle me. As he was trying to tackle me, I got pantsed. <laughs> It's definitely the one time after track practice when I got into a car that wasn't mine and there was a little black boy looking at me and I was very confused and I got out of the car and I sort of sat there and was like really confused. So that was probably the most awkward experience I've ever had. I broke my little brother's arm and instead of giving him pain medicine, I gave him three sleeping pills. <laughs> and then the awkward thing was when my mom came home, my little brother was like laying down to sleep on the floor. And his arm was messed up and he, she goes, why is he asleep and why is his arm broken? And that's why it was really awkward. The second question is, if you could be any animal in the world, mythical or whatever you can think of, what would it be and why would you be it? I could be any animal, I would definitely be a bald eagle because you can't kill them and they can fly and they're free and represent America. America. If I could be any animal, I'd be a shark because I'd be able to be on Shark Week. Um, I would be a liger because they're awesome. I would definitely be one of those brontosaurus things, only I'd be a meat-eating one because I'm not into salad. A unicorn and they're cool. I'd be a werewolf. A werewolf. I'd get movie cities named after me, get to take my shirt off all the time. That'd be great. Probably want to be like a be like an angel or something because you got wings and still be a person, I guess. I'd probably be a vampire because, you know, you can still be normal and turn into a bat and stuff and kind of be mysterious too. I'd be a lion because lion. lions are awesome. Thanks, everybody. Back to you. Thanks, Sean. Now to our final story. Fear has stricken into the hearts of everyone in the town of Littlewood as a mysterious figure has been stalking around in the forest that surround the town. The locals are calling this figure the Dandy Man. Apparently, he looks just like a man wearing a round hat and with a striped business suit. However, according to eyewitness reports, his face is that of a cold black and with fiery eyes of a demon. There have been reported disappearances in the town, and the dandy man is the one being blamed. However, local law enforcement is speculating a criminal is pulling this act. Nothing is certain at this time. Thank you for joining us at NBC News. As always, I'm Noah from Britain. And I'm Brandon from the U.S. We'll see you next time.